So the top eight is about to begin. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't dodge Ministered by Angels, so I'll be playing him again. Probably the one matchup that I wouldn't want to play against. Okay, we lose the die roll. And we have the mulligan. And we have the mulligan again. Well, didn't have a blood braid, so we get to keep Elspeth alive. If we draw some action, we could actually be in this game. Interesting play. Definitely an interesting one. <laughs> Apparently, our opponent did not understand how Tectonic Edge worked. And is now on two lands. So, I would attack with Colonnade here, but I really don't want to get it terminated. So I'll wait for an opportunity. Well, that makes things interesting. Uh, I'm going to be able to ultimate Elspeth next turn, so I'm just going to hold on to my Bane Slayer. And I'm not sure what he has going on. Well, he obviously didn't have much going on. Okay, that was something. Um, so now that we know this deck a little better, uh, I think we can board more appropriately.
I think I think it was a mistake not to have any gates in the deck in the last round because uh, Monument is basically the the best shot he has at winning. So we're gonna have some negates in this time. Um, and we saw Death Mark. So I think we're gonna make a play and take out the Bane Slayers. Try and make some of his cards dead. And we're gonna go a different route for victory with Martial Coup. And uh, Sphinx seems pretty bad against him as well because of the uh, monument going on. And we don't really want to tap out too much with our new plan, so I think I think we're gonna stick with this right here and possibly change it for game three. I definitely don't like taking out Bane Slayers, but Deathmark is just such a beating on Bane Slayer, but it's so bad otherwise. So I think, I think based on his deck, I think it's the right play. Um, I'm not going to play wall. I, I, at some point, might play the wall there, just to, to make him extend into the wrath, but I think he'll extend over anyway. Yep, but uh, it's not what I wanted to see. Pretty miserable. Um, I don't think I can afford not to path the bit, uh, the blood braid. I'll be taking six twice if I don't path it now. I'm not sure how exactly he manages to fit Visionary, Borderland Ranger, and the usual Blightnings and Pulses into his list. Um, he might not play Putrid Leech, and he would probably have to cut something else too. Okay, so we drew the fourth Day of Judgment. Pretty amazing. <clears throat> and I play Wall now because... I may not be able to play a day next turn, so I need to buy some time. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty miserable. I think we have only two Elspeths in the deck. Now. Yeah. 